In the second and much shorter video on Immanuel Kant's ethics, we'll look at some criticisms of his moral theory. What might be problematic with those categorical imperatives that he described? Well, there might be some challenging cases, not of the type that we saw that were problematic with Mill, but still there may be some challenging cases. So let's consider the maxim if we're using our first formulation of the categorical imperative, and we have the maxim one should never lie. Now this seems like something that could be universal, that wouldn't be a problem if everyone always told the truth, and it seems like something that one could will. I know that I don't like, like it when people lie to me, so it seems like something that I would want everyone to follow. So it seems to pass the first formulation of the categorical imperative. It seems to be something that would be a moral principle that you should never violate. It also fits with the second formulation because if you're never lying, you're not going to be using another person to get what you want by lying. So it rules that aspect out. However, there seems to be some exceptions to this principle, this maxim. So, for example, if you were protecting a Jewish family from the Nazis in Germany during World War II era, and the Nazis came to your door and asked if you were doing so, it seems like the moral thing to do would be to follow the maxim, protect innocent life when it's within your capability to do so. And the only way to do so at that point is to lie. So it seems like the moral thing to do in that situation would be to lie. Well, how do we address this? It seems like the problem we've identified is a maxim against lying in general fails. It seems like there are legitimate moral reasons to sometimes lie or not tell the truth. So here's a possible solution from a Kantian perspective maybe we could be more specific. So we might say, don't lie unless you need to do so to protect innocent life. So we add a clause to it so we can be more specific. But then how should we deal with white lies? What, what should we say about that? So imagine if, if I asked someone if my shirt made me feel dorky, made me look dorky. And uh, they said something to the effect of, well, it's not the shirt that makes you look dorky, a reasonable response to me. And, uh, but I might be offended by that, nevertheless. And it seems like I might feel insulted or have my feelings hurt or it might damage the relationship. You just never know, right? So it seems like white lies, these little minor half-truths, we might say, or untruths that we tell to spare somebody's feelings, seem to be a legitimate thing to do to, to keep the peace among relationships. And so one might say something like this, well, let's make the maxim more specific. And we say, well, always tell the truth, except when you need to lie to protect someone from serious harm, or when I think that the truth will hurt someone's feelings. And in that case, I'll lie to protect them. So we have to modify this maxim, and now it's getting very specific and a little bit more complicated. Well, it does solve the problem of the concern about exceptions. We can do this if we needed to. We can make our maxims much more specific. However, what about those cases when the truth will cause you to get into trouble. So you now have modified the maxim to say, well, I, I will always tell the truth, you know, unless it, doing so will hurt somebody's feelings. So what about if it's going to hurt your own feeling? What if telling the truth is going to get you in trouble with, with your parents or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a, a sibling, you know, someone you care about? What if telling the truth is going to get you into trouble? Well, that'd make you feel bad. So does that give you permission to lie at that point? The, the issue here is you can see that it becomes very difficult to learn how much specificity should be included in these maxims. And the, the problems are such that the, the first way we could put it 
from our first slide that we considered, if the maxims are too general, you know, never lie, then it seems like we have these irresolvable contradictions that might arise, such as you should protect innocent life, but you should always tell the truth, and, and you might be in a situation where you cannot possibly do both. So we can't leave them too general. We want to be more specific, but then the problem is, if the maxims are too specific, then they can be stated in a way that's going to justify immoral actions, like lying just to get yourself out of trouble, you know, saying you didn't do something so that somebody wouldn't get upset with you. And that doesn't seem to be morally correct either. So another way of putting this, or maybe it's a third criticism, it's a general concern that there might be raised against Kant's theory, is that the system doesn't take into account the actual complexity of humans, the actual complexity of the relationships we are in, the situations that we encounter. And since it doesn't do that, that's why we have these tensions. And when you try to have these inviolable rules, it seems to be a very difficult challenge to come up with them and state them properly so that they can be universal, consistently willed, and also such that you're never using someone, treating somebody as a means only. So this is a challenge for Kant's theory. Certainly there are contemporary Kantians that have responses to these concerns, but they do seem like legitimate concerns that require responses.